So in this video, what we're going to look at is how we can take samples from our computer and put them on the Digitact. We can do this one or two ways. We can use electron transfer, which allows us to go onto our computer and transfer the samples into its own sort of folder. Well, into its own folder within the Digitact. So we'll look at that first. We can also use the USB connection um, and transfer them that way, but we have to record that in. If we look over on the screen here, we've got electron transfer, which is opened up. This is connected in via obviously as USB, so it's now connected. But if you was to come to this, you would be presented by this screen. It shows you what the available devices are. So right now, because my device is connected, um, this is why this is. If it wasn't there, if I just disconnect it, you will see that you won't have anything. So just make sure that your device is connected first. So if we put the device back in, it should just pop up like that on your device. Um, if it doesn't, then just try and directly put it into your computer. If it doesn't do it after that, then to be honest with you, I, I don't know. So um, yeah. So this is what we've got. We've got as MIDI in, as MIDI out on the Digitact. We can have a pull down menu to show what else we've got. But all we have to do then is press connect. It then connects to the device and then we're presented with this screen. We can now drag and drop as files into this drag and drop area or we can go into the explore mode. So the explore mode holds two different sections. We have this blue section which is your computer which is on your computer so you can search in your files and whatnot. So in this example I've got my external SSD which has um, samples on there that I've got from Splice. Um, I'm just going to use these in the example, if not I'd, I'd probably make my own and, and transfer them that way but this was just quicker and easier to use. So I've got five different samples there, I've got two drum loops, I've got a Rhodes piano, vocals and then a percussion loop. So what I want to do then on this right hand side, this is the folders that I already have on the Digitac. So I could either add a new folder by clicking on this plus button up here, this creates a folder um, uh, so I'll just type in electron video confirm that creates our electron video folder so if we double click on that I can then click on each one of these or if I click on one press shift and then click on the bottom that selects them all I can then just drag and drop them over to this file and it starts the upload process so this bar down here shows us the progress of the overall um, time it takes for them to get from your hard drive onto the onto the Digitact. So we'll just wait and fill until that complete, which is now completed. Um, so now them files are on the Digitact. Before we go into the Digitact, I want to show you how you get them off of your Digitact back onto your computer. So if we go back to my um, main menu we have this electron folder here. All we do is right click and then we press save to computer. It then we, it allows us to choose a destination and then we can um, save that onto his computer in whatever destination we've chosen. The other way that we can um, put audio onto this device is via recording it in via USB. So because we've got it connected to our computer and we know we've got it connected to our computer all we do um, this is on Mac by the way we can go to our settings or the, or the sound settings so if we just click on this system settings we type in sound and then we click on sound output we can then choose what output we want our sound to go to so if I click on Digitact and then if I pick a sample let's just say this percussion sample if I just start this playing we'll hear that playing but if I click on the direct button and then use this G encoder to go all the way over to USB left and right and then start playing you'll notice that now we're getting a signal coming into it so if we set this threshold to be let's say there and then we press yes to arm it 
it's now armed so as soon as it starts playing it's starting to record and then we can press yes to stop it we've now got that audio on the digitats where we can use this to um, trim the start we can use to basically I'll show you that in another video but that is how we get audio onto this device So now the files are loaded onto the Digitats, we need to search for them. So how we do that is we open up a project um, or if we go to a bank, find a clear bank. Uh, for this example, I've, up, I've done a new project. So this is on Bank 1, Patent A. You'll notice that you do get preloaded with some samples as itself. So we've got eight to choose from. But on this occasion, if we scroll down, we'll go to this next blank um, sort of space where we can put our sample in and that is number nine so if we go to that we hit yes and then that will take us to our menu selection page so all we need to do is go down to our folder that we've created we can then select that and then that gets loaded into the project we can then go back onto the screen and then press the button and then we can see what's playing So that is the Rhodes plane. We can also uh, have a quicker way of adding samples to our list. If we click on a blank list, we go down to a folder, we hit right, we then press select all, which selects all our samples, and then we can load them to our project. It says, do you want to load five samples to your project? We hit yes. And then now all them samples are now loaded into our project. If we just come back out of that and we come back down here, we'll notice that they're all loaded into our project now. So what you'll notice is that we have um, basically two or more samples, I think just two, that are already loaded in. So, so to do this, what we do is click on the settings page. We go to the samples and then in this folder where we're at, you'll notice that these are assigned to certain sort of numbers. So if we click on the orbit one, which was uh, added twice, if we click left on that, we can click view RAM, brings us to this page, the, the files that are loaded within the project. If we go down to our, our sample that we wanna get rid of, we hit the right button. We can either select all, uh, select unused, uh, deselect all, replace or unload all we want to do is unload it so then it asks us to confirm if we want to unload it we hit yes and then it basically unloads that slot from our track or from our project so we can come back out of that so we'll click on the left panel we'll go on view and drive and this takes us back to our folder menu and as you can see it's unloaded that file from our project So that is a look at how we can transfer our samples from our computer onto the Digitat. We've also looked how to connect it to our computer via USB. We've also looked at how we can transfer audio via the USB into the Digitat and record it. And in the next video or one of the next videos, we'll look at how we can shape these sounds into something that we can use.